Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this Clevertronics um, L10 Life Light torch. Okay, now this particular fitting I got today from the electrical store and I um, made it into a little torch. Okay, the way I did that was I put a little port on the side here just to accept a, um, a cable like this, a computer cable. Okay, with a little switch. Now, um, I, now for those of you who have been following my channel, you might have seen the video on this one. This is the Life Light Pro the LP Life Light Pro torch that I have. And as you can see, I did the exact same thing for this one. Now this is an L-Life SMS in black. This is the L10 Life Light in black. This one here is the LP Life Light Pro in black. So I decided to buy it in the same color and do the exact same thing. You might notice the label on this one's white, the label on this one's black. That's because this is a newer one and this is an older one. Now I did say that this had Clever Test Plus on the inverter, but apparently I don't think it does. It doesn't. Okay, it, obviously the circuit board inside is actually the older one. It didn't say on the box or anything about Clevertest Plus being embedded either, so it obviously doesn't have it. But, but that's alright, I don't really want it for a torch. Okay, now um, but both of these are the exact same fitting, as you can see here. But the only difference is that this one's got two bulbs, this one only has one. So this one is not as bright as this one. But, um, but yeah, so this is an L10 Life Light with Clevertronics from Clevertronics. So this makes a good little torch. Now it's got a little switch. I just flip that and it comes on like that. And when I turn it off, it goes off. So it makes a very good little torch, very bright too, for a little three watt LED globe. On the back, you can see I plugged the hole up with a, um, a little patch, okay? I even did the same for this one. On the video I made this one, the holes weren't plugged. You can see I plugged them up, as you can see there. So I plugged the holes up on that one. Another thing I did was I put these on the back, these little feet, those, those help. Those are so that way if I have it laying down like this, it won't scratch the furniture. Okay, okay, that's a pretty good option. And you can see the sticker there. And now I did have the part number on the back, but I had to take that off in order to put the port on. This port does have a fuse in it, so if the fuse blows, I actually have to replace it, otherwise the fitting will not charge. So um, this is lithium battery, of course, so I can keep it disconnected like this and it will retain its charge. So whenever I want to use it for a torch, I can. And I do plan on using it for camping trips and stuff like that, we, um, in fact, with both of these. So this is a very good fitting. This is the EL10 range, so it's the top of the range, so the battery will last for ages before I have to replace it. Probably about 10 years, the same for this one. They'll last about five hours before they go flat, both of these. Okay, so they are very good... Um, Lights. Now I do plan on getting the um, the LP Life Light as well, the Sea Life in black, and doing the same thing. This is the L Life, and this is the Sea Life Pro. Okay. Now these here are the white versions. Okay, and I do plan on getting one of these ones with the exact same and do the exact same thing. So that way I've got the complete range. Now the um, the EL Life Light only comes in white. It doesn't come in black. So if you want black, you need to go up to the LP or the L10 fittings. Okay, so um, so those, so those are a couple. So that is the um, my Clevertronics Lifelight L10 torch. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it, and that'll be it.